Rigba invites us to know that Jesus came to save us. And so we are called to be a people, as we hear in Isaiah at Christmas, who have walked in darkness, have seen a great light. We must be in the darkness before we can see the great light. The call of the gospel is to repent and believe, not believe and repent. So the beginning point for us is realizing the fallen state that we are in. And so this week in our Advent series, we are inviting you to go to that place of darkness. That place of enslavement to sin. As we hear in our first reading, that we are called to recognize the height of the mountain and the depth of the valley. As we pray in the colic and the opening prayer, that there would be no earthly hindrance. So what is the obstacle, the highest obstacle that is hindering you from following Jesus, from repenting and turning to him with all your mind, heart, and soul? What is the deep valley, the depth of your loneliness, where God wants to rescue you? There was a song years ago that came out, a lady named Cher, you may have heard of Sonny Cher, and Cher sang a song, I could turn back time. How many people heard that song? I could turn back time. You can go ahead and hit it. That's a jiving little song. I'm not going to sing it for you this morning. But if I could turn back time, it was the song that looks at the lyrics of that song, look at the things that uh, the person did wrong to somebody else. And if I could turn back time. And our whole life is really about that. We make mistakes every day. If I could turn back time, oh, I would have flipped the switch in the shower to turn on the fan so the window wouldn't be all foggy. I just could turn back time and do that. Or I said something to somebody, whoops, shouldn't have said that. If I could just turn back time and not say that. So it can be things of a real small nature. We want you this week to go deeper. Deeper into the truth of who you are. What in the depths of your being have you done or failed to do that if you could turn back time, you would do differently? But we can't turn back time. What is done is done. And so we are enslaved, we are trapped in our sins. There is no way out of them. We cannot save ourselves. We cannot take back what we have done. At best, we can ask people to forgive us, but we can't change it. What are the stupidest things that you have done in your life that you go, I wish I could take that back. I wish I could turn back time not have done that. I wish that wasn't a part of who I'm going to end up to be when I come before God. Next Sunday we celebrate Gaudete Sunday to rejoice. And so unless we are a people who walk in darkness, we cannot see a great light. If we have not walked in the darkness of knowing what enslaves us and separates us from God, we will have nothing to rejoice about next week. So your homework, homework is given to help you prepare for something like a test. If you don't do the homework, when the test comes, you won't be ready. So if you don't do the homework this week of knowing the deep valley or the highest obstacle or the sinfulness of our nature, we will, have, we will not be prepared to rejoice next week. So we also pray in the colic, the opening prayer, that we would gain, we would have learning of heavenly wisdom. So we send you forth this week with the spirit to go to deep valley, to seek out that highest obstacle 
and to have learning of heavenly wisdom so that when we gather next week, we will be able to hear good news and rejoice.